This is a typical rack taken in Pennsylvania, and by typical, I mean this is a, the perfect whitetail. All the points come off the main beam. There's no abnormal points. That's the description of a typical rack. And how this is officially scored, the inside measurement of the rack, uh, and this one, the inside measurement is what uh, the score goes by. So for this rack here, 13 and 14 and 7 eighths, that gets recorded on the score sheet. The next measurements are the main beams, and this is the main beam. All the points originate off the main beams. What we do, I take this off and get a, a length on the left main beam. I record that on the sheet. I do the same on the right main beam, and you must use a cable to do this officially. I would tape this off, get my length, use my roll to get my length on the main beams. Those are recorded. The next measurements, the G1s, and by G1 I mean the first point. These are also code brow points. I would measure these, and it is recorded uh, to the 7 eighths of an inch. Each one of these is two, the other one's two and a half. That would be recorded on the sheet. The G2 would be your next measurement. And I would run this down to the top of where it hits the main beam and get my measurement. And in this case, is 8 and 0 eighths. My G3 would be my next measurement. And this one is 5 and 0 eighths. That would be recorded. I would do the same on the other side. Have my G1 already recorded. My G2 would be 8 and 0 eighths also. My G3 is 4 and 7 eighths. Those figures would be recorded. The other measurements I need, I need, you need four circumferences on every main beam, on each side, on every rack you do. The uh, first circumference would be between the G1 and the, and the uh, base of the antler, or the base of the main beam, which would be four in this case. The second measurement would be three and two eighths. My third, in this case, is three and zero eighths. Now you need four measurements on every typical rack or on every rack that you do. So in a case of an eight point like this, to get my fourth measurement, I would take halfway between my G3 and the end of the main beam, which is six inches here. I would put a mark here at three inches, and this is where my fourth circumference would be. And in this case, it's two and zero eighths. I would do exactly the same for the left side, mark them on my sheet. And then Boone and Crockett standards and with Pennsylvania's, when I uh, record these sheets, everything gets added up, but the side-to-side -side measurements get deducted. Uh, so in other words, one of this here was five and zero eighths, this was four and seven eighths, that would be a one eighth inch deduction. That gets put in my column over here. So all my, my measurements are added up, the differences are taken off, and that's how we come to the uh, net score in a typical rack.